Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel and I got some more informative news for you guys in regards to iOS 11.3.1 as well as other developer tools that was just recently released last night. So with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so the first thing I do want to talk about is the fact that iOS 11.3.1's exploit was in fact released yesterday as of making my video. And if you guys have not checked out that video, go ahead and click on the card that will be displayed on the top or right hand side of this video right now. So if you guys are done and you guys finished watching that video from yesterday, go ahead and just continue watching. So the first thing I do want to talk about with iOS 11.3.1 is the fact that Coolstar was able to use Ian Beer's exploit of TFP0 and is running on his iPad Pro at the moment. So from here, it's basically just compiling up a jailbreak for us users to use. Now, like I said in yesterday's video, his exploit that he is using right now is only with the developer tool from Apple, which is the $99 that you have to pay in order for you guys to run developer tools and all that good stuff. Now from here, only if you guys have the $100 developer account, then you guys can use this exploit. But just for the average consumer and user just like me, we're going to go ahead and have to wait for a jailbreak to be released. But that's pretty much it for Coolstar. He is basically able to make a jailbreak at this moment. We're just waiting for him to compile it and compile all the exploits all together in order to make a user-friendly either IPA or a jailbreak tool. Now, the next thing I do want to talk about in terms of iOS 11.3.1 is the fact that another developer named Jake James also got root running on iOS 11.3.1 with another user's developer account. It's a pretty great thing to see that the community is actually helping all these other developers as well as exploiters with giving them accounts in order for this jailbreak to be successful and to be released as soon as possible and I know you guys are all pretty much anxious just as I am for this next jailbreak thank you guys so much again for all the views and likes and subscribers that are new to this channel thank you guys so much and continuing with this video the next thing I do want to talk about that was in fact released last night but it was pretty late for me to make a video but it's Houdini which is in beta 3 which is going to be working up to iOS 11.3.1 not 11.4 because of the X now this tool is basically an anemone for iOS and it's basically allowing you to make some small UI changes in order for developers to test out themes and such. Now if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, you guys can see there is some other changes that he made. So there's support, home and lock screen widgets adding passcode customization, re-enabling themes, customizable icons, the control center, as well as other tweaks you guys can add inside of your iOS device. Now this is basically an IPA, so you guys can go ahead and just download it and sideload it on your guys' iDevice if you guys want to use this as well. But for right now, we have no jailbreak but we do have the exploits and the developers are creating a tool for us users to use. But for right now, guys, please be patient for these developers to make a jailbreak for us to use. But thank you guys so much again for all the views from yesterday's video. If you guys are new, go ahead and leave a like on this video and also subscribe to get videos in regards to the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak and future iOS versions. Don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and to stay up to date on what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world. So with that being said guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks signing out.